right, welcome back to Mr. Mentor's ELL Classroom. Today we have a short conclusion to our section on Chapter 12, one of my favorite things that this book does, the checkup tests. So, we're going to be going over Chapters 11 and 12 in this video. Okay? Uh, so I hope you remember the stuff from last week and the stuff from this week. So, to complete this, you'll need this page, page 91 from your activity book. Print it if you are able. If not, write the answers on a separate sheet of paper. And that's it. Just this one page checkup test. So, to start out, uh, you know how this works. Fill in the blanks. So they have some words here. These happen to be our old friends, the object pronouns. Remember the object pronouns? Me, him, her, those. Fill in the blank with the words in the box. Then, more fill in the blanks. Now we're talking about using the same verb, but in two tenses. So like in our example, Betty never talks to her landlord, but she's talking to him today. Okay. So we are going to be using the same verb in two forms, okay? Same verb, two forms. Okay, we get down to the bottom. Now we're going to fill in the blanks with do and does versus is and are. Always worth practicing. Go back up to the top. Write the question. I like these honestly. I feel like they made this one too easy. I would have made it harder for you. You got lucky. It says, I'm shivering because I'm cold. And then they give you what word to use. Why? So you write the question. Why are you shivering? Here's the answer. They want the question. Okay? After you get done with that, there is a listening exercise, which we will do together at the end after we've gone over all the other answers. Okay? So... Pause the video, fill in the answers, get to work. All right, did you pause the video and fill in the answers? Okay. So, number one. Do you look like your father? Yes, I look like him. Number two. When my cats are hungry, I always feed them. Checking your work. Number three. Sally rarely plays with her sister, but she's playing with her today. Number four. I say hello to my boss every day, and he says hello to me. Number five. We're going to the park. Do you want to go with us? Okay, B. Fill in the blanks. Okay. Number one. We never feed the birds, but we're feeding them today. Number two. Harriet never goes... G-O-E-S, to parties, but she's going to a party today. Number three. My children never bake, but they're baking today. Number four. Tim never fixes his TV. F-I-X-E. S, but he's fixing it today. Number five. Amy rarely washes her kitchen windows. W-A-S-H-E-S. -S, her kitchen windows. But she's washing them today. All right, C. Fill in the blanks. Moving right along here. Okay, that's our example. What do you usually do on the weekend? 
What is Tina doing today? Is that it? All right, moving over to the top then. Why is the baby crying? When do David and Pam go to the supermarket? Does Bob usually dance? Do they work here? Yes, they do. Are your parents cooking lunch? Because remember, are is a form of the word is. All right, now, write the question. We did this already. They work in a laboratory every day. Where do they work every day? Number two. We get together on Sunday, Saturday, when? When do you get together? Number three. He's crying because he's sad. Why? Why is he crying? Number four. She has three children. How many? How many children does she have? Number five. I'm drinking milk. What? What are you drinking? Okay. And last, we've got a listening exercise. Let's see how close I can zoom in and still be able to see that. All right, yeah, sure. All right. So, let's start with the example and the listening exercise. This is page, what page? 91, yes. So, example. What are Peter and Tom doing? So, this is our example. What are Peter and Tom doing? A, they're playing soccer. See, because playing fits my question of what are they doing? If I'd asked, what do they do, we'd say they play tennis. But if I ask what are they doing, answer is they're playing. Okay? Fits together. Number one. Number one. What do mail carriers do every day? B. They deliver mail. What do mail carriers do every day? B. They deliver mail. Number two. Okay, I'll give you a little more time to serve them for the next one. Sorry about that. Number two. Where are you going today? Did you circle an answer? Number two, where are you going today? A, we're going to the zoo. Number three, what do you do when you're scared? Number three, what do you do when you're scared? B, I cover my eyes. Although I've never understood that. I don't understand people who do that. Number four. Do you usually use a typewriter? Number four. Do you usually use a typewriter? A. No, I don't. Number five, that was B. Number five, where do I usually study? I'm sorry, where do you 
usually stay. So number five, where do you usually study? B, I study in the library. Okay, so that was our checkup review for chapters 11 and 12. Hopefully you got most of those because this is all stuff we've done already. So hopefully you remembered it and were able to apply those lessons. If not, you can always uh, watch the videos again. You don't need to go on to the new videos. If you're not getting good scores on these checkup tests, you can just go watch some of the videos over again. It's always a good strategy. Um, failing that, I'll see you next week.